Hello, I'm Dr. Lonnie Herman, and uh, thank you for letting me come into your home and share this great information with you. Life-changing, life-saving information. Uh, this is, uh, I just want to share with you an examination that I did today with a patient who has this bone disease. Uh, it was called, uh, the report here is, it's called a myeloid neoplasm, may represent myelodysplastic syndrome, and they said here that the comprehensive assessment report says the peripheral blood smears show moderate red blood cell anisopoikilocytosis. That means that the blood cells are not all the same size. They're all supposed to be the same size, uh, shape. They shouldn't be all different kinds of sizes and shapes. She went through a bone marrow and the doctor said that they can't find out what's going on with her. They don't know why this is happening in the bone. She's very ill. Uh, and on different medications, and long story short, they just can't help her. Well, in my examination with the bioresonance testing that I do, and I have all different samples in my clinic with different types of heavy metals, different mercuries, uh, different infections, whether they're parasites and bacteria and uh, viruses and mold and different fungi and vaccine residues and medication residues and and there's a way that we can find out what's going on in a specific tissue. I have samples of human bone marrow. And within that bone marrow, I can actually tell if there is a certain toxin or infection in there. Whenever there is an infection or toxin or an electromagnetic stress to the bone marrow, it's going to cause an imbalance or malfunction of the way the red blood cell is produced. The first stress that came up on her was cell phone radiation. Cell phone microwave radiation has been proven in pre and post dark field microscopic studies to cause a clotting effect of the red blood cells. She had uh, tetanus vaccine residue in the bone marrow. She had a silver and mercury mixture in the bone marrow. She had dimethyl mercury compounds in the bone marrow. She's got mercury fillings in the teeth. What you call silver fillings? In the teeth. It's in her bone. X-ray radiation was found in the bone marrow, dental amalgam in the bone marrow, polio vaccine residue in the bone marrow. We had several infections that appear there as well. Bartonella, Borrelia, which is the Lyme spirochete, inside the bone marrow, Babesia infection in the bone marrow. She had two different kinds of mold in the bone marrow. Very long scientific names. I don't think that's too important to, uh, to share those names with you, but two commonly found molds that I find every day in patients. She had multiple iatrogenic chemicals, xenobiotic chemicals, inside her bone marrow. Understand something, your bone marrow is a sponge. Anything that gets in the blood, anything that gets into your body, through your stomach, that you breathe in, it can get into the bone because your bone produces your blood and your bone also gets supplied by your bloodstream. She had two different parasites that we found in the bone marrow. She had hookworm, actually a third parasite, excuse me, in the bone marrow, and she had residues of antibiotics in her bone marrow. We checked different tissues, including her lymph. We checked uh, different organs and glands, and they all had very similar, uh, even identical uh, uh, toxins and infections that were in the bone marrow in the different tissues. What do I propose to you? I propose, and to her, and to you, is that if you have this bone marrow disorder, if your bone is sick, whether it's bone cancer or any kind of bone disease, you've got to know that something got into your bone and the regular medical facilities don't have the power, don't have the right test to be able to get that toxin, to find the toxin or find the infection and pull it out of there. That's what I do. There's remedies that we're making for this person to be able to get that toxin, get that infection right out of that bone marrow and help her repair her bone marrow and make it healthy again. I'll share more information with you on videos all the time. Subscribe right here. Press that red button on my YouTube page here. Subscribe to my channel. I put up videos every day, every week. Uh, you can also subscribe to my Facebook page. I'll put that in the description below this video. It's called Westside Advanced Care Center. I look forward to helping you and your family. And there is a way out of your illness.